I love this town, you know, I, I did my first sort of real movie here, although I wasn't sure it was a real movie at the time, it was Dazed and Confused, it was 30 years ago, 131 years ago, and uh, I can't believe I'm that old. But I also, it's, it's you know, this is a movie that um, we wanted people to enjoy. It's made to inspire people, to make them feel good, to, that's not, I don't think cheesy or schmaltzy or saccharine or fake, it's about people and all their flaws and, and conflicts and struggles, but in the end, I felt like, and I'm not usually drawn to this kind of thing, but I thought, I want something that could just really inspire people, you know, in the way that, that Michael Jordan is inspiring to the world, you know, you see excellence, genius like that, there's something about it that moves us and makes us think, Maybe I can do something difficult. Maybe I can do that thing I'm afraid of. Now, he's not in the movie because, um, well, for one thing, you know, he's just too iconic and too famous. The minute you try to show somebody else and say that's Michael Jordan, you kind of lose the whole audience because, by definition, when you're that iconic, there's only one of you in the world. Uh, and also what's really interesting is, I don't want to give it away, but it's a movie that you think is about, about one person and then another, and then you find out who the the real protagonist is the, the who the movie is really about about uh, halfway through and it's it's really uh, it's a pleasure I, I really love this movie I'll be honest with you and I want people to see it in the theater because it's fun because it's a lot of laughs it's funny it's funny and it's fun and I love it so I hope people do too I've just got lucky you know I mean it's like I feel like uh, you know Phil Jackson with the Bulls like. I don't know, I'm sure he's a great coach, but I also, it doesn't hurt to have you got a great team. You're going to be okay. And this, this cast is people that, you know, my whole life I dreamed of. When I wanted to be a director, you know, I thought like maybe one day I could work, you know, work with a really great actor. And I think Viola Davis is the greatest actor uh, there is that I've ever seen. And, and so to have her in the cast for me is, is a dream come true. And I've been trying to work with Chris Tucker for 20 years, begging to work with me. And I love Jason Bateman's and G's, our fourth movie together. Chris Messina, he was so good in my last movie and nobody saw it. So now I'm like, all right, I'm getting you in here. People are going to see you be great. And then, you know, working with my best friend uh, for so many years, I. It's just incredibly moving. I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. I'm very lucky. I think it's the perfect venue. I'm so excited to watch. I've never seen the film with this film with an audience, so this is a, a per I think it's going to be a perfect audience for this. It's the A team, you know, people like Bateman and Viola and Matt and Bob Richardson behind the camera. It's like it's an incredible A team. 
You know, I'm always amazed that I get to do this uh, in general. So when I look around and get to do it with these people, it's like a dream come true. I'm excited, you know. Uh, I, I want to see it in front of people, too. I saw it before, but it wasn't in front of a lot of people. So I'm, I'm, I'm a big movie fan my, uh, myself. So I'm excited, and I think people are going to love it for so many uh, uh, levels because of the business level of, you know, uh, breaking ground Nike and was breaking ground by giving a percentage of the shoe to a player and Michael for his, him and his family uh, going after it and, and, his, and his team. Um, and, and I just think that and then the drive of Michael Jordan what made him so great in winning and then he was creating a brand at the same time because everybody felt good watching him so they wanted a piece of him and it was his shoe that was created at a certain time, a certain place, man, so it was great. Oh, it was great, man. I mean, Ben, Ben, Ben Affleck, man, is I call him player coach because he's an actor, director, so he knows what actors like. And Matt, well, working with them, man, they was they were like they're like brothers, and they said, "Come in, we're just gonna have some fun, man, and we're and we're gonna make it wicked work." And I love that environment. It was, you know, it makes you feel comfortable, and that's when the creativity comes out, man. And that's when a lot of fun could happen. No, you know, I was, I was, but it's one of my friends. I'm playing one of my friends that I know. And like Ben said, you know everybody. And uh, my agents came to me and said, hey, yes, they got a part, Howard White. I said, wait a minute, I know Howard. What? So I, let me call him and make sure this is a movie. And he's, he said, yeah, yeah, I'm in this movie. They, they mentioned in me. And uh, I said, well, I'm thinking about taking it. So it was all the good things I like. It was one of my great friends who I like a lot, Michael Jordan, the Jordan brand, and sports. So I said, yeah, I'm going to do this. It's going to be fun. And, and, and then working with these guys sound great. Though. Definitely, definitely, because real people, real moviegoers, real, real people who love movies and I think this is this and our movie is real it's a period piece a lot of nostalgia a lot of uh, oh man a lot of it's inspirational inspiring so I, I think people are gonna love it like it's an underdog movie too so people love underdog movies. Uh, just being invited to hang out with the cool kids is always kind of fun you know I mean Matt and Ben are just about the best at what they do and um, you know the crew that Ben put together is a real all-star crew and I kind of dork out over stuff like that and um, the quality of the script and you know the fun of the character was sort of secondary in that whole equation I uh, almost didn't even need to read it you know he's just super smart about the whole process of you know making fake life it's uh, it's it's sneaky tough to make it all believable, and his sort of his set IQ is so high. He understands the process so well that he makes it really easy on everybody. No one really broke a sweat on this because everybody was just doing so good at their job. Well, it's you know? really like the movies that we loved growing up. Like it's really dependent on the writing and the acting and and the kind of things that uh, made us want to be actors in the first place. And and. Um, and it was just a wonderful story. Um, you know, we grew up through this era, so like, we knew it from our perspective, but not from the perspective of the people kind of who, who, who were in the middle of it. And so, um, it's just every time I read the script, I was, I could, I just, I, I'd, I'd pick it up and then I'd go up, oh, here I am for another hour and a half, like I gotta go through the whole thing. It just, it just grabbed you. And so, um, so we wanted to do it. I mean, that was kind of it. I mean, I think what happened was when we wrote Good Will Hunting, it took so long because we didn't know what we were doing. And so we kind of figured we shouldn't do that again because it's like we don't have the time. But when we wrote The Last Duel together, it went really fast because in the intervening two decades, we'd done nothing but make movies. So, so we kind of figured out how to do it kind of in the interim. And so uh, we found ourselves like really enjoying the process again and going, well, we should be doing this. Yeah, I'm super excited. First time seeing the movie with, uh, you know, a crowd and uh, on the big screen. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's a dream. I can't wait. Well, look, there's so much about it that's attractive to me. One, I'm a Chicago kid, so the Bulls were my childhood. So anything with Michael Jordan, uh, you know, finding a way to tell his story, but not a direct biopic was always very interesting. And then look, the, the Jordan shoe deal really changed the economics of the entire industry. Um, I just don't think people knew that. So to me, it was a really interesting way um, to tell the story. And look, it's not it's not necessarily a Nike movie either. You know, it's uh, it's an underdog story. Hopefully, it's inspirational. It's about uh, Dolores Jordan's mother and how big she was in the process. So uh, yeah, look, hopefully, it's just a fun ride and uh, uh, you know, kind of a little educational along the way as well. Yeah, a dream. Uh, you know, Ben and Matt uh, can't say enough about them. You know, they uh, for my first produced script like to have 
Ben, Matt, Viola, Jason Bateman, Christmas scene, uh, I mean, it was such a dream. And uh, Ben and Matt did a lot of work on the script, and uh, they're obviously great, great writers. And uh, they brought a whole another element to the script that, uh, you know, I think... You know, you're flattered at first, and then the next second is pressure to play the woman who basically is the orchestrator of this great athlete's life, you know? And obviously she was so influential, and then I'm looking at videos of her, and if you've ever seen videos of Dolores Jordan, she's extraordinary. She really is, because she's one of those, you know, she's one of those people where you're like, where did this talent come from? Where did this vision come from? Because she's from a generation of people. She's like our people's I'm, age, I'm, like I'm 82, yeah. 81, she's my mom's age. That's There's right. a whole generation of people that, for, for in my family, they didn't really have dreams. And if they did, they died in the sharecropper's field. And here is this woman who has big vision. Oh, yeah, because I want them to see it. I don't think anyone really knows what they're going to experience. Because I've read comments, I literally went online to read comments, I can't believe I did. We all do. But yeah, I know, but I really don't need to do that. <laughs> but when I'm reading the comments, people don't even, they can't even anticipate what they're about to see.